welcome to our summary updates from Intersolar Europe. Today we'll bring you an overview of Intersolar Europe and discuss the numbers and growth of the world's largest exhibition for the solar industry. Intersolar once again has shown an impressive growth this year. Um, we have uh, had uh, 2,280 exhibitors uh, covering an exhibition area of 168,000 square meters which is uh, more than uh, yeah, 20 percent um, above uh, last year's numbers. And so we are very happy that we could show this growth. We have um, a very strong international participation. The exhibitors this year came from 47 countries and the visitors um, from more than 150 countries. It's also a special year for Intersolar this year because uh, we are celebrating our 20th uh, anniversary. We started our first event in 1991. During the event, Solar Pivot TV spoke with over 40 people representing leading companies worldwide. We also conducted and registered three executive panel discussions on future market outlook, expected grid parity on the German market and competitiveness of Thintium technology. All videos will be published on Solar PV TV in the coming days on the Intersolar Europe devoted channel. A variety of workshops and seminars offered alongside the exhibition give visitors a chance to engage in dialogue with industry experts. We visited one of them focused on markets in the new European Union member states. Mr. Petruchko, can you please comment on the workshop? So it was exciting workshop. I, it exceeded my expectation because I brought people from the new member states, which not necessarily are followers of the solar en energy, and I wanted to show them how dy dynamic is this area and uh, what are the prospects, and uh, uh, that the solar energy is the most uh, important source of the renewables. Intersol Europe brings together the international solar industry. We asked for opinions on this year's event. Uh, how did you like Intersol Europe exhibition this year? Oh, we like it very much. Uh, it's always a pleasure to present uh, Soleos at Intersolar to present our product. And we are um, very happy to meet our customers, but also to meet our providers, to exchange with them market information, and uh, we are very happy uh, to be here again. I think it has been good, uh, despite uh, obviously the challenges in this industry. Q1 has been quite tough, but uh, Jinko managed to overcome the difficulties and get the results much better than the guidance we gave to investors and even from our own own uh, targets, so we, we did better than expected. Uh, Q2 we will do the same, we will raise also uh, better than our guidance. However, I think uh, the fault here is much more important in terms of demonstrate we have a good brand name, Jinko is becoming more and more well-known company, that we have good quality as we said before, and also finally that we have good service and loyalty to our customers in difficulties uh, that we are facing uh, in different markets. Intersolar was again more impressive for us than last year. Um, we have had uh, a large number of meetings, both for the Eastern European, Italian and German markets where we are active. And uh, I think that uh, Intersolar was again for me and all my colleagues and co-workers a very productive event. So we had very uh, many concrete business opportunities and concrete business minutes, uh, meetings to discuss um, real projects. So for us, Intersolar is becoming more and more not a marketing event, but a networking base because the whole industry is here uh, and we could use uh, uh, the contacts which we already have and also win new contracts to work on our business pipeline. So a very productive and useful event. We are finishing our final update from Intersolar with a message of Professor Willeke, chairman of Intersolar's conference. The PV is no longer expensive, uh, it's uh, breaking through uh, barriers and uh, we are seeing a booming market worldwide. That was all from Intersolar Europe. We look forward to meeting you at Intersolar North America. Mm -hmm.